when Paul told the Col Colossian church, Colossian chapter 3, verse 1, it say that set your affection on things above and not things on earth. Hey, glory to God. My subject is your love in the wrong place. Your love is in the wrong place. Hey, glory to God. I love heaven more than I love my car. I love heaven more than I love my castle. I love heaven more than I love my, my cash, my credit card, my clothes. Hey, glory to God. Because, my friend, the Bible says, set your affection. Affection is love. It go to God. And some of y'all, y'all love earth more you love heaven. John and Paul are on one accord because because John say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What's of the world? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, nor the world, and the world pass away, and the lust thereof. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, set your affection on things above. Hey, glory to God. That means to love heaven. Hey, glory. When you love heaven, my friend, that means you're going to register in heaven. That means that, glory to God, you're going to be born again. That means you're going to put your name on a scroll. You're going to put your name on a lamb book of life. I love heaven more than I love earth. And some of y'all, on the side of my voice, my friend, you don't, you don't even have your name on the lamb book of life. Why? Because you so lovey-dovey with the world. You think the world, the world love you. The world don't love you. If you are a Christian, the world does not love you. Who oh, glory to God. But if you are a sinner, you love the world. And I'm a saint. I hate the world. When I say I hate the world, I hate the things of the world. Oh, glory to God. So what Paul was saying, Paul was emphasizing, set your affection on things above and not things on the earth. Why? Why? Because Jesus Christ said, hey, glory to God, rocks comes and steal, thieves comes and break in and steal. What your treasure is, there you ought be also. So what, what, what Paul was saying, set your love above heaven. Heaven? Hey, glory to God. I want to be one day, so I got to love it. Hey, glory to God. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying, set your love on things above. Oh, glory to God. A lot of people, my friend, they love earth. The reason why they love earth because they think they can, they can be men there. They can be being there. They can be zing there. But I come and tell you, my friend, money pass away. Money have wings and they fly away. So I'm telling you today, my friend, oh, glory to God, set your affection on things above. Love heaven. You love heaven so much, my friend. You go to God when you stand before God because the Bible says, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. So I'm telling you right now, my friend, set your love on things above heaven. Oh, glory to you. You don't love the stars. You don't love the moon. You don't love, hallelujah, the sun. But you love the S-O-N rather than the S-U-N. Oh, glory to God. So somebody needs to hear this, my friend. Set your affection on heaven. So when you stand before God, God going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I'm telling somebody, my friend, where's your love today? Is your love on earth or is your love in heaven? My love is in heaven, not glory to God, the queen of heaven, because heaven don't have no queen. Heaven got a king and he's a king of king and lord of lord. I'm telling you right now, my friend, set your love on things above. Oh, glory to God. That's all I have to tell you, my friend. This is only part one. Part two is coming up. My, this is an introduction of telling you why you should love heaven. Heaven, glory to God. The Bible says there can be no more pain. There can be darkness. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ said, I make all things new again. So I'm telling you, my friend, set your love on things above and not things of the earth. Oh, glory to God. So a lot of you all guys, hey, glory to God, you you love you love earth so much that you won't get registered 
in heaven. You're not invited. You invited to the to the banquet, but you got excuses of not going to the banquet. Hey, glory to God. So what Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ told the servant, go to the highways and byways and tell uh, compel men to the kingdom of God. And the Bible say how when he come hey, to the marriage fee, this man have no clothes. He said, friend, where comest thou not having a wedding garment on? The wedding garment is the Holy Ghost. So if you don't have the Holy Ghost, my friend, you might have Casper, the friend of the ghost. You might have a shout. You might have speaking in tongue, but you don't have the Holy Ghost. You have a form of godless, but you are denying the power there. Uh, I come and tell somebody right now, my friend, when you have the Holy Ghost, my friend, the Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you into all truth. The Holy Ghost will teach you things to come to pass. Oh, glory to God. Somebody needs to hear. My friend, if you have the Holy Ghost, my friend, the Holy Ghost is your instruction. The Holy Ghost is your teacher. The Holy Ghost, my friend, hallelujah.